So guys, today back for another video on the channel today. We are here for the Newcastle United vs Arsenal preview. It's a f football's finally back after our break. Last time we played, we played Oxford and Arsenal have been a bit of a little bit of a sticky patch, but yeah, they've done our reach, but they're having a terrible season. They really are. Tenth in the Premier League. Mid table clash for Newcastle and Arsenal. You wouldn't have thought that at the start of the season. You would have thought we would be in the relegation zone. And after the, what they spent on Pepe and whatnot, they should be in the top four. But it's not been that way. Obviously, different changes with Arteta, uh, with Emery and whatnot, the captain, captain situation, Bamiang being suspended. But, lads, in the video, we'll look at Arsenal, look at Newcastle, say my prediction, and we'll end off the video there. And I'll uh, quickly got to say something, so I was going to record this on Friday, this is going out on the Thursday, it'll be a little bit late, and I'm recording this, it's 20 past 6, so if you if you're one of the first few hours, you'll know what time it's out. Basically lads, I'm streaming tomorrow, FIFA 20, Prime Moment Icons with winter upgrades and whatnot, so make sure to uh, see that, but lads, this is the video today, we'll look at uh, Arsenal now. So, Arsenal have had a terrible season, 10th in the Premier League, with the same amount in points as Newcastle United and they are 10 points off fourth that's it we're fucking 10 points off fourth you would never uh, think that but look at Arsenal's last six games now so they got a 1-0 win in the FA Cup against Leeds at the Emirates I watched that game on BBC it was an RV game 1-1 uh, against Crystal Palace and that's when Aubameyang got suspended 1-1 against Sheffield United at home they should be beating them 2-2 draw against Arsenal, where literally Arsenal's admin went on about that game like they bloody won the league. Uh, they didn't, it wasn't like a 2-2 draw when we, against Everton when we got two goals uh, in the 95th minute. They got two goals coming back against a, a, a different Chelsea team. Uh, they got a 2-1 win against Bournemouth in the Cup and then they drew 0-0 with Burnley, so... Out of them, they haven't won a Premier League game in the last six. Uh, when was the last time they won a Premier League game? Let's have a look. So if we look at their matches, last time they won a Premier League game, oh, it was literally the first of this year against Manchester United. For one, that's appalling. Arsenal Football Club doing that. And I know they're going through Miguel Arteta, uh, but... It's, it's not good enough. It really isn't. I think with Arteta coming in, he has brought that a little bit more energy, a little bit more freedom to the players. And it's the fans obviously want him there. He's a club legend for them. But for me, I, I'm sorry, but Arsenal Football Club, 10th in the Premier League and haven't won a Premier League game in over well, uh, nearly six weeks. That's shambolic. Shocking. Obviously... Aubameyang, he's, last time we played them it was a 1-0 win to Arsenal, first Premier League game of the season. And Newcastle United, we just weren't that good on that day to be honest, just couldn't really break down Arsenal, won the state by Jet Row. But for me, Arsenal should be doing a lot better, right? With their team as well, I know on paper their team isn't that great. It's better than Manchester United, definitely. On levels with Chelsea, I know they've just signed Ziyech, but from this season... Uh, just looking at the team, also should be doing better. Nicholas Pepe, and I know we, yeah, there's been a lot of flops. Joe Linton, Pepe, Haller, Wesley, a lot of flops in the Premier League this season. But we we'll have to just see what happens because I don't think Pepe is at that Premier League standard at this moment of the season. Uh, at the end of the season, could be, but at the minute, definitely not. But. Aubameyang's a threat. <clears throat> Obviously, we know they've got defensive problems. Hopefully, Maximin can use his ability to do that. And we'll talk about Newcastle now. And there's been some stuff being said about changes in the team. So, obviously, it has been the winter break. And the players have spent some time out. And it was well needed for Newcastle United. Uh, Yoshinori Muto and Joe Linton were both in training on Wednesday, their first day back. And I I'm happy to say Muto. Muto deserves a chance more than any other striker out of Gale and Carroll, in my opinion. I think Carroll brings a little bit more. But to Gale or Muto, uh, to, uh, Gale or Muto for me, you play Muto. And I know Muto will not start, but 
there's been times where we've lacked a substitute. He's got energy, he's fast. Why not bring him on? And I think you will bring him on against Arsenal and hopefully he can do something. Um, I've read something on, well, my ma told us. Uh, apparently, DeAndre Edlin will be getting dropped for the game and uh, Valentino Lazar will, will make his full debut as a starting player for Newcastle United. One man who Arsenal will not like and will probably get booed at the game is Danny Rose, Tottenham player on loan at Newcastle United. His debut in the Premier League was a game against Arsenal and he scored a 20, I think it was 28 yard scream at first time volley. I remember watching that, it was the 2009-10 season, I've still got the DVD review man. That, that was one of my favourite goals, watching that as a Ben. Fantastic by Danny Rose. Uh, hopefully he does start, for me you do start him. Richie was okay against Oxford, but I thought that Danny Rose has got that experience that no other player has got in our squad. So for me, you play Danny Rose and he will get a bit of stick, but if we score or if we even get a draw or win, he will absolutely silence the uh, Emirates, even though it's only already silent anyways because their fans at home are shocking. Anyways, uh, my prediction for the game. You've got to be a bit positive after that Oxford game. Yes, I know it's Oxford. I know that. But you've got to you've got to stay positive, in my opinion. And with the players having a break. I know Arsenal have had a break as well. But they haven't won a Premier League game since the 1st of January. For me, it's going to be... I'm sorry, lads, but a 2-1 Arsenal. <laughs> I say I've got to be positive. Newcastle United have beaten Arsenal twice in the last decade. Like, last decade. The 2-1 win against them... Um, at home and the Andy Carroll header, we haven't beat them. Arsenal are the team that we normally don't get anything against any season. Last season didn't get anything against them. The season before that, yeah, we did beat them 2 1. But if you go back the years, 7 3 against them and whatnot. But I'm hopeful that we do get something and we do turn them around. Uh, 1-1 one, one maybe, but I'm going to just go for a 2-1 Arsenal. Lads, that is the end of the preview. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I forgot to mention, lads, if you follow the social media, as you would have knew. And if you're staying up the channel and watching the videos. Anyways, I hit 7k subscribers and I can't find you enough because the support in January was fantastic. And I gained nearly 500 subscribers. I'm going to set myself a massive goal. And this is honestly, it, it's massive. We've got about... February, March, April, May, right? Four months, right? The final game of the season against Liverpool is on my birthday, my 18th as well. If we could hit 8k subscribers, that's 1,000 subscribers from now to the end of the season. So, lads, if you could subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot. And if you do appreciate the effort that I put in, it would mean a lot. Anyways, lads, that's the end of the preview. I'll see you all for the live stream tomorrow and the predicted team Saturday and the match on Sunday. How are the lads? Oh! <laughs>